So, in the previous video, we have learned about the wide pointer in C. So, in order to more advance about the pointers, we are going to learn about the double pointers in C. So, first we need to understand about the double pointers in C and what exactly is they are used for. So, double pointer is a pointer that having the address of the another pointer that doesn't have the address of the another variable as we have learned in the case of pointer pointer is a variable that contain the address of the another variable whereas the double pointer is a pointer that contain the address of the another pointer so how to use double pointer or how to write a program using double pointer in C uh, let's create a program small program so here I am declaring a variable and the variable name I am giving A and to this I am initializing value equal to 15. So now I am declaring a variable of uh, pointer of integer type and to declare the pointer we have to use a strict symbol then we are giving the name to this pointer as a P1. And the semicolon and we are going to declare another variable of integer type that is pointer type and this is double pointer so for that we have to use the double asterisk symbol to declare the double pointer and to this I am giving the name as a p2 so I am writing one more line over here that is p1 that is pointer 1 uh, is initialized to the address of variable a means pointer p1 will contain the address of the variable a and p2 is having the address of say pointer 1 or we simply have to write a percent p2 p1 now here i'm writing line printf so first uh, I need to display the address of the variable a so for that I am writing address of variable a is equal to and here I use percentage x format then I put backslash n here and for that I am using address operator so for that I am writing a percent a this is the one way of accessing the address of the variable and here I write one more line to this printf and here I write address of variable A using P1 pointer is equal to say a percent x then backslash n here and here I will give the a percent P1 and put the semicolon same way I will write one more line to this using copy paste so control c to copy and here press the enter and control v to paste it and here again address of variable a using p2 and here i will give the reference of the pointer p2 now uh, in the next line i'm going to display the value of pointer so here one more line i would like to add uh, here as a um, printf and this i'm i'm writing here value at the address address stored by P1 
P2. Point P2 is equal to say here again I use percentage x then backslash n here and this time I'm giving it as a p2 semicolon put here and here I write one the same line again so using control C control V here and here I will get p1 and put uh, in here double backslash and two lines then here I put p1 okay and again I use double line so I put backslash in and the one more line I will like adding here printf and to this time I am adding a value uh, say value of double pointer so double pointer p2 mm, is equal to say backslash d for integer format and put backslash n for new line feed and here we have to put a comma and double p2 put the semicolon at the end and now it's almost done so save your changes here and go to execute menu choose compile and run now here you see the output of this program the address of the variable a is this 62fe1c the address of the variable a using p1 is this much and address of the variable a using p2 is this okay now value add the address stored by p1 is this look at this this and value add the address stored by p1 is this so here you see and the value of p2 is 15 so here you have to see uh, look at this line address of the variable so this is here the address of the variable now here we have written the address of the variable a using p1 is uh, then we are giving the address of this variable mm, so this is the address of this pointer and here is the address of the p2 pointer in the memory now value add the address stored by p2 now what is the value stored in the address by p2 so it will point to the variable or pointer 1 p2 is pointing point p2 will store the value or address of the point uh, pointer 1 so here is the pointer 1's address is 62 fe10 so this is here so p2 is having the address of the pointer 1 and the value at the address stored by the p1 so p1 is having the value of address of variable a so here you see the address of the variable a is 62 fe one c so it's showing a value 62 fe one c now the value of pointer p2 is 15 now this pointer p2 is having the address of the uh, pointer 1 that is p1 and this address is having the value equal to the value of a that is 15 so it's showing me the value of uh, p2 is 15 so this way we have to use the concept of uh, a pointer a double pointer in c in which the pointer uh, double pointer is a big pointer that contain the address of the another pointer and that pointer contain the address of a variable that is having a value now let's make some small changes in program uh, i'm just going to add one more line over here say i'm adding uh, align to this program as a p2 is equal to a percent a p2 is um, assigning uh, to the double pointer the address of the variable so what i'm doing uh, to the double pointer i'm assigning the address of the variable p and here i write printf and here in the message i'm writing 
uh, say I would like to display its value so simply I'm using percentage D uh, then backslash N then comma here I write uh, double pointer P2 okay so save your changes and again execute and compile and run I will put the semicolon here so here we put the semicolon save changes again go to execute menu choose compile and run and uh, here you see uh, you got the warning here assignment from incompatible pointer type so this is basically the warning here and this is exception is raised over here and this is warning so it means this is not legitimate here this is uh, we cannot assign to uh, to the double pointer a variable or address of the variable to the double pointer we can assign the address of a pointer so this is what we can say that not legitimate or illegal or not a right concept in C so we don't have to use uh, double pointer in such notation we can use double pointer only this way in which double pointer will point to the another pointer not to a variable so we simply make these line as a uh, comment entry so for that I'm writing a stick and uh, here I'm closing the comment entries so here we go save your changes now go to execute menu choose compile and run this time again and we see that our program is compiled with zero uh, error and zero warning and here we see the output here is the address of the variable is this much address of the variable a using p1 is this much and address of the variable p2 is this this much now add value at the address stored by p2 is now p2 is a double pointer and that is having the address of the uh, pointer p1 so here we see the address of the pointer p1 is 62 fe 10 so here it is having the same value now value at the address stored by the p1 is 62 fe 1c so as we know that pointer p1 is having the ad address of the variable say a now to point to p1 we have assigned the address of the variable a so here you see the address of the variable a is 62 fe 1 c in the memory so this is the value of this and here we see the value of p2 that is double pointer is 15 so as 15 is the value of the variable a and the address of the variable a is stored in the pointer p1 and p1 so address is stored in the pointer p2 so p2 is accessing the value of variable x using p1 okay so this is here we can use the concept of double pointer and mostly the double pointer are used for uh, accessing or make program execution more faster so that's all about double pointer in c